All right, guys, how's it going? I was not expecting to make this video. You see, I consider myself a very cautious person with my phone, and I make fun of people who drop their phone. I think, how do you drop your phone? Like, just just hold it, just be careful with it. It's your, just, you know, be careful. But, you see, I was trying on clothes and I took off my jeans to try on some different pants and I was folding them over my arm. And I, you know, I'm just like folding them, trying to compress them so I could set them down. And I heard a loud crack or a thud, almost like a, a gunshot, I would describe it as. It was extremely loud. And uh, well, my phone fell on the hardest floor in the building and right on the corner. It did not bounce, it fell hard. And so, as you can see from the footage I'm no doubt showing right now, wow. It was messed up, man. It was, it was messed up. So yeah, I was, I was pretty sad, pretty upset, and uh, I, was, I was in deep depression. But I looked it up and I realized this actually looks like a decent enough repair. You know, I'm not scared of repairing things by myself. And I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you're not too scared of it either. Or maybe you're scared of it and you need someone else to hold your hand. I'll be that person. But it's a super simple repair. I think anyone can do it. So I feel like I've wasted way too much time. <laughs> Alright, so it's time to begin the repair, and uh, well, yeah, as you can see, the phone is still quite damaged, and uh, you can see, like, just trying to use the screen for anything, it just goes crazy, opens apps, you know, there's artifacting all over the screen, and they're still black, and yeah, it's, it's pretty bad, but uh, yeah, so it's time to start the repair. We're gonna start by turning it off. Um, I wasn't able to actually turn it all the way off because I couldn't tap the button, but I just turned it off normally. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the safest procedure, but as I said, I'm not really sure how to turn it all the way off. But I have an X-Acto knife here and we're gonna start just prying the screen off. And since it's already cracked, this will be a pretty easy process so I'm just gonna poke it in there and uh, pry it up a little bit slide my uh, razor blade down it a little bit as you can see the screen is just starting to come off and as I said if your screen isn't actually cracked this will be harder and you might have to use a little bit of heat but I think uh, most people replacing their screens it's probably broken so that makes it a lot easier for someone who wants to take it apart for a repair. So yeah, as I said, I'm just sliding down, I'm cutting the adhesive, and I'm trying to pry the screen off. And uh, this is a pretty simple repair compared to some others, like, you know, iPhone repair. As you can see, it's starting to give way a little bit, and uh, I can start separating it with my fingers, and as you can see, the ribbon is right there, and uh, I have the screen to where it's a, it's about to a bookshelf fold. But that side's still hanging on pretty good, especially because it isn't cracked. So I'm just gonna work for a second and try and get that off. Just gonna try back and forth a bit. I'm examining it, you know, trying to find where the weak point is. And I kind of found it, so I'm going to pull up from that edge, and so I can uh, slowly pry it off. There we go. It popped off. You can see the adhesive was uh, still stringing on there. And so now we're to the actual ribbon, so I'm just going to get ready to take that off. i got to grab my screwdriver, a Phillips small one. Mine's a little smaller than... Uh, one you would probably want to use for this uh, but that just means I had to apply a little more pressure and this one's also not magnetic which is really annoying but you know 
it's a very short repair. There's only two screws to take apart, which is miles ahead of any phone I've ever taken apart. So just gotta, you know, poke it out of there. <laughs> and then the connector comes off like a little Lego. And there we go, the screen is off. I was checking to see if that metal bracket was adhered. It is, and there's another one on the replacement screen. And so, just lining it up real quick, I'm gonna grab my box and I'll open up, oh my goodness, there's literally a helicopter outside while I'm voice recording. That never happens. Literally a helicopter. Okay, never mind that, we're, you know, we're gonna keep going. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm taking the screen out of the package. There it is with a little bit of bubble wrap, and it's in a plastic sleeve, so I would say. And we're just going to pull that off. It also has a plastic coating over it, so uh, I'm just going to make sure I don't, you know, it's very reflective on the back. Uh, I'm just going to try and get that plastic piece off of the back so that I don't push it down with the plastic piece in the way and then I'm gonna try to put that connector on although uh, putting it on was a little more difficult but as before snaps on like a little Lego but but this one's a, a little bit of a harder piece you know a, a worse Lego so yeah just putting some pressure on it trying to line it up you know trying to deal with holding the screen at the same time is just the annoying part and so as the ribbon cable I'm fighting I'm trying to snap it on but you should be very careful with the ribbon cable because it's like you know it's like paper you don't want to rip it and if you rip it the screen is quite dead so yeah just trying to figure out how I can screw this on um, kind of a pain and the magnetism really hurts me, but I got it uh, in there without any magnets and just put in a lot of pressure. As I said, my screwdriver is not quite the right size, so a little bit more pressure needed for me. And one last screw to finish almost the whole repair, really. It's, as I said, very simple. So put that last screw in. I want to note that I don't have any type of adhesive. I wanted to show uh, you know, me putting a different type of adhesive on there, uh, but uh, I can't, don't know where it is. So yeah, right now the screen repair is done. As you can see, it's a working screen. It's just that uh, you'll have to apply glue with your own Liberty. Uh, I wouldn't use like super glue, but just some type of basic adhesive and some of the screen kits even come with tools and you know adhesive so yeah I think that's pretty much going to wrap up the repair as I said I've done harder repairs this one seemed to be on the easier side for me and I'm just happy to have my phone back just peel that was nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's in full working with touch and everything, and I can't see a single defect. There's a little bit of the backlight bleeding through because I didn't have it all the way pushed in. And uh, yeah, it looks just like the original, and I'm happy it's fixed. So now let us enter the outro. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and that helps you to repair your own phone I will leave repair parts down below I'll leave some on Amazon with my affiliate link so I get a very small kickback like one to three percent if you buy it from there but I'll also leave eBay links because I'm pretty sure eBay is cheaper you know I have to fact check that one as I'm editing this but I'm pretty sure they're cheaper on eBay so I do recommend if you don't care about the two-day shipping and you're willing to wait like four days or whatever, then I do recommend getting them on eBay. That said, there's also just my Amazon affiliate link down there. So if you buy anything through that, you're helping to support me through that same 
like little kickback and I'll probably use any money I get from that to like you know working on lighting and things for the channel you know and uh, so any of that would be greatly appreciated any questions critiques comments you know anything leave that down below in the, the comments if you have comments leave them in comments and I respond to almost everything I've ever gotten what like if you like dislike if you don't and subscribing is always appreciated bye